for family. The question number seven, Tim McIndoe. Talo Falava, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice. What reports has she received on 2011 conviction and sentencing rates? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, conviction and sentencing statistics published today by the Ministry of Justice confirms government's approach to reducing crime is working. The conviction and sentencing statistics show fewer criminal charges being laid in court, fewer people appearing in court, more charges resulting in convictions and a decrease in overall serious and violent offences in the last five years. Since 2009, the total number of charges laid in court has dropped by 18 per cent. That's over 60,000 charges. Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How does the reduction in the total number of charges being laid in courts deliver better public services in the justice sector? The Hon. Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, fewer people facing criminal charges means fewer cases clogging up our courts, fewer people unnecessarily going to prison and fewer families disrupted. The new justice sector leadership enables police, corrections and justice to work together for the first time. Better public service targets are reducing total crime, reducing youth crime and reducing re-offending are clearly in our sights. With less crime and fewer people entering the justice system, agencies can focus on crime prevention, modernising our court system and rehabilitating prisoners to reduce re-offending. To the Minister, uh, how will the Minister respond to the issue of huge sentencing inconsistencies as demonstrated by the excessive sentence handed down last week to Tamaiti and Te Rangikai Whiri Akemora, while three years ago a man who was found guilty in seven of eight charges of being in unlawful possession of two military-style semi-automatic rifles, thunder flash explosives, power gel explosives, two military flares, a smoke grenade, a grenade launcher and an anti-personnel mine ended up being asked to pay $5,000 to the St John's Ambulance. The Hon. Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, it would be quite inappropriate for me to comment on sentencing in a particular matter. That is a matter for the courts. Question number eight, the Hon. Nanaya Mahuta. Mr Speaker, my question is...